Typeform is one of the most famous services for creating conversational forms, a special kind of form which, in simple terms, can be called one question on page form. This type of form is useful when you want to show one question at a time rather than scare the respondent away with a long form with a lot of questions and fields. It makes the process of filling out the form more interactive and engaging. That's why it's called conversational UI. Conversational forms can be created not only in type form. In this short video tutorial, you will learn how to make a custom conversational form in AIDA form simply and quickly. Also, there is good news – you can use such a form for free. Step 1. Create a blank conversational form. To do this, go to my.aidaform.com, log in and select Create new form. Enter a name for the form, then click Create blank form. You can also use a ready-made conversational form template, but this example will demonstrate creating a form from scratch. Step 2. Add the title page. To do this, notice the panel on the left, it's called Form Elements. Start by adding the basic elements, the title of your form. To do this, drag the tool from the Form Elements panel to an empty space in the form. Then, type the desired text and change the settings of this field to your needs. If required, add a subheader and your company or organization logo. Use the media file tool to do this. Step 3. Add fields and questions. You don't have to think about the structure of your form ahead of time. Add fields and questions in any order you like. You can swap them out at any point later. In addition to the traditional open-ended questions, you can offer your respondents a choice of ready-made options, such as multiple choice or a single choice questions, as a full list of options or as a drop-down list. The following fields will also be appropriate for conversational form. Rating. With the help of this tool, the respondent can quickly rate or mark how relevant a certain statement is to them. Item form allows you to select an icon for rating and choose the number of items on the scale. Two other similar tools are Scale and Slider. The Scale tool shows not just icons and numbers on the scale, but allows you to add text. For example, if you ask how often a customer uses your product, the answer option on the left could be Never and on the right All the time. In turn, Slider is one of the fastest ways to give a rating. Best for the lazy ones, you just need to slide the icon left or right. Customization is available for any element you add to your form. You can make a field mandatory or skippable, add a description, specify answer choices, randomize answer choices, and so on. Step 4. Make a unique design for a type form-like form. At this point, your conversational form is ready in terms of content, but it could use some customization, an attractive design to make it different, look good, and get more respondents to fill out 100% of it. To do this, check out the panel on the right. It's called Form Designer. Here you can choose a ready-made color theme or a balanced palette of colors that are sure to go well together. You can also choose a background for your form, a solid color, a photo, or a picture. Among other settings, you can choose fonts, icons, size, and type of buttons. Also, pay attention to the progress bar. It's not only an attractive design element, but also a useful tool to let your respondents see how many questions are left. This is especially useful when filling out large detailed conversational forms. Step 5. Turn a regular form into a one-question-on-the-page form. When you've done customizing your form, click Preview. This is the preview mode of the form, but now it looks like a standard form, not a conversational one. Go to the Setup tab and in the Trades section, activate Conversational UI. Click Preview again. Your form is now a one-question-on-the-page form. The great convenience of AIDA form is that you can turn any form into a conversational form at any time. And back again. Step 6. Publish your conversational form when it's ready to go. Check the readiness of your form again in preview mode. Is everything ok with the form's content and design? If yes, publish the form. To do this, go to the Publish tab and choose the most convenient publishing methods for you. Direct link, embedding on your web page, or another way. You will see the completed forms in the results section. 
As you can obviously see, you don't need design, talent or programming skills to create a conversational form. And if you create such a form using the IDA form service as described in this video, the news is good. This type of form can be created as part of a free plan. However, if you want more advanced form builder features or advanced options for publishing a form and collecting statistics and responses, try the full version of AIDA form. You can get a two-week free trial for the full version. In order to get it, send a request to the email address listed in the description of this video. Thank you for your attention.